the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The gospel of salvation is a revelation of the Father's love. John chapter 3 and verse 6, 16. For God so loved the world, a revelation of the Father's love, demonstrated by and through the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Please understand the gospel of salvation. The Father, God, so loved the world. That was his motivation. His motivation was love. His motivation was not power. His motivation was love. His motivation was not influence. His motivation was love, not self. So for God so loved the world. And he proved that love by giving Jesus his son. Are we together? You will be surprised that many believers don't even know about this story. That God so loved the world and he gave Jesus. Why did he give Jesus? Not just so that we will be saved. Jesus came as many things. Number one, he came as an example of what it means to be led by the Spirit. Because that's the condition to be a son of God. So he came as a sample. Until then, no one had demonstrated sonship to the degree that satisfied the heart of the Father. Are we together now? So Jesus came to show us the way to please the Father. Jesus came as a substitute. He eventually will be a substitute in what we call his passion. The journey that started from the upper room where the communion was. That's not what I'm teaching tonight. It's just important for us to have this background. That the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus did not start on the cross. He started on the upper room, then the upper room, and then from there to Gethsemane, and then the cross, and then the grave, and then the throne, not the sky. Remember the song says, from the grave to the sky. No. From the grave right to the throne. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand. Not hang around the air until I know what to do with you. The Lord. There was a real coronation service that happened. Are we together? But the story is not really where, it's not the point of advantage. It is the opportunity for man to understand that message and respond to it. That whosoever, beautiful statement, whosoever. There are some things in scripture that are not for whosoever. They are for, there are specific conditions. But when it has to do with the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ, he says, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have zoe. Not just life everlasting, not just eternal life, but the life of God. Are we together? So that, that's the privilege um, that we stand to enjoy. And then in addition to that, we are now open. Please listen. In addition to just receiving the life of God, we have become one with him by the spirit. These are the basic doctrines of the Christian faith. You are not a Christian if you don't understand this. Doesn't matter if you can raise the dead. If you do not understand these foundational truths, these are the pillars of the Christian faith. Praise the Lord. Then we now begin to explore in detail the advantage. Listen to my communication. The advantage of Jesus in our life. There is, there is a real advantage. And one of it... Paul was teaching the church in Ephesus. Chapter 1, please give it to us again, media. Verse 3. 
he now says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ which lord jesus christ jesus christ who died and now had become lord that's why you see the word lord jesus christ the lord the master the exalted jesus christ not just the one that walked upon the earth the one who is now exalted who had blessed us are you seeing he didn't just die so the father through jesus had blessed us with all spiritual blessings but the nature of this blessing is that they are spiritual in context they reside in the heavenly places and that you will only access them through christ meaning if you do not encounter jesus christ you cannot have these blessings there are many believers who do not love jesus and are not interested in him but will continue to insist that they must partake of everything that has to do with the faith life it starts with jesus it starts with jesus the alpha remember our teaching the omega alpha omega starts with jesus so let's go to first peter now chapter two celebrating easter is useless until we are able to understand the advantage of that which christ has done and to engage with understanding the systems that will bring us into that experience so we continue to press by faith as faithful students in the school of the spirit trusting the holy spirit to guide us day by day and hour by hour to a point of comprehension where we will know god desires that we know and that we walk in the experience of that knowledge first peter chapter 2 from verse 9 let's read together one to read but ye are a chosen generation uh -huh. a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people stop peter the apostle is teaching here and he's reminding us that we are not only believers are we together that the scope of the sacrifice of christ does not just make us believers but that in addition to believers we are all these a chosen generation not just a generation a select generation number two he calls us a royal priesthood a mix of kings and priests that we are both kings and we are priests remember revelations 5 and verse 10 tells us also on this and then it says we are a holy nation a nation of people and then it says we are a peculiar people and then he says that we should show forth the praises of him who has called us who is the him jesus jesus who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light let's let's stay here a bit you need to understand this don't trivialize this because your victory depends on it to show forth the praises of a man who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light many of us understand what we are being called out of but we do not understand what we are being called into we have taken our time to study what we are being called out of we know we understand the length and the breadth of what he has called us out of but the bible never said that he called us out and left us he called us out of a dimension and a realm then into another one marvelous light marvelous light marvelous light this statement marvelous light is what qualifies us to be called a chosen generation please listen a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that means take away the experience of marvelous light we cannot be all of this the presence and our access to this mystery that the bible calls marvelous light are we together now you need to understand that this marvelous light we are talking about um light in scripture is symbolic of illumination knowledge truth 
Are we together? So when the Bible says marvelous light here, it means a body of knowledge, finite spiritual knowledge. Please, you have to understand this. It doesn't just mean any spiritual knowledge. That means there is an exact combination of spiritual knowledge that is equal to marvelous light. Just because you gather any spiritual truth, it doesn't equal marvelous light. It may equal light. But there is a spiritual combination hidden here that if you possess that body of knowledge and you apply it, you must reflect these possibilities. A manifestation of a life that is a chosen generation, a peculiar personality. Are we together? They will see the king priest dimension walking in its apex. Marvelous light. That's the secret there. Marvelous light my accessing the light you know when i started out with the lord i thought that every truth of the kingdom was equally valuable and it seemed like a sin to believe that some truth you know people say truth is truth that is true in terms of the origin and the purity of it but in terms of its stratification and its assignment no sir no sir there are many lights but there are two great lights it is possible to have 10 of certain information but you can have one of another kind of information and just that one that you have will surpass by far the effect that will be in your life by accessing these things so please you need to understand that you are not just growing because you are encountering truth you have to grow when you encounter certain kinds of truth designed to produce an effect in your spiritual life all scripture the bible says is written by the holy ghost is profitable it says holy men wrote as they were moved by the spirit is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction in righteousness and so on and so forth so any dimension of truth you find in scripture will have some value to your life but as far as being exceptional remember you are mandated to show the praises of god that means that the gospel rendition of this is let your light so shine before men that they might see your good deeds and glorify notice how god continues to desire the praise and the glorification that not just comes from singing comes from a standard of excellence and a standard of life that the saints emit and the secret to that possibility is marvelous light there are many believers who want to be great there are many believers who want to be anointed there are many believers who want to go far there are many believers who want to have influence and we continue to guess around spiritual principles that we think may lead us to these truths and here and there there are books that are written across and they seem to supply some level of value but let me tell you this one of the greatest blessings that can happen to a believer is that you find a man or you find a platform that handpicks the spiritual principles that are allocated for your victory and feeds you with it like you have a plethora you have a buffet of spiritual principles and not all of them believe me now please don't misunderstand what i'm saying not all of them have equal value as far as your relevance and your producing glory is concerned no there are certain truths that if you don't know regardless of the ones you know it will still look like jesus is not lord over your life just because you cooked well and you didn't put salt or something it may look well but it would taste not the way it's supposed to taste are we together now yes there are many believers who continue to pride in the fact that they are accumulating spiritual information and many of the information that that is being accumulated number one 
it's not been vetted number two it's not arranged systematically do you know that truth does not just bless the arrangement the order of truth matters like a spiritual house look at this room for instance imagine that we pick the zinc and we put it immediately after the foundation you don't have a house the order and the arrangement matters it is in the arrangement that the house is produced just because you have the materials the spiritual combination of these truths to the end that it produces this is where many believers default so here and there we can say i know this i know this i know that but at what point in your spiritual journey do you need this are we together so when truths are dispensed we are not just giving you head knowledge we are also arranging it and rearranging it so that it can now be useful and productive to our lives if you're with me please say amen, amen. there are people today who have been around church for a long time but they may never be anointed because of how they were taught never never they may never walk in the anointing because of how they were taught now the same thing you know about the anointing they have been taught but the arrangement will not produce the anointing in their lives there are believers for instance the the moment they get born again the next subject they hear is prosperity and money that kind of arrangement is not only bad it's dangerous now that is truth but because of the way it was arranged you cannot call it marvelous light it will it will create a lopsided christian a lost driven christian are we together the language of sacrifice the language of service will not be in the dictionary of that kind of christian the entire scope of his understanding about god is someone who just blessed us to enjoy and that's not a good philosophy because when you sell that idea to that believer eventually when things do not change and things do not square up he will leave god in a heartbeat because you have told him that the primary purpose for his encounter with christ is just for him to enjoy now that does not mean that this dimension is not in the dealings of god but it's too early there are things that the believer needs to know and appreciate before the subject of prosperity comes in there are many believers today who keep shouting oh god why me is because they have not been taught they have been taught that when believers face challenges it is proof that they don't have faith you see that's why i'm saying it's important you are taught so when they lose loved ones or something tragic happens like the dear lady who said armed robbers came to their house i hope you know that's not a muslim that's a christian many christians today cannot explain when something very sad and tragic happens to people who love God, they search around and the arrangement of the doctrine that was given them does not allow an explanation to certain situations. I don't know if you are following me tonight. So when the man of God comes now, there is a dead body lying there. And they say, what happened? My father served the Lord. He even died serving Jesus. And then the man of God is, is in confusion right now because all you have taught them and the way you have taught them is that whatsoever happens that is negative, listen very carefully, in it, God cannot be praised and you have to be blamed and all of that and all of that and he cannot find glory in anything that is negative. That believer is confused. I love God. My father loved God. My mother loved God, but he still died. But there is something you can teach that believer that like Job, you can teach him that the true victory of a believer sometimes is not in what you have gotten, but in your love for God, even when you don't get some things, that they are all called faith. That faith is not always about things coming. It takes faith to lose things too by faith abel offered it's not always about coming our concept of faith is that things must come but i'm teaching you that there is a dimension of faith where you can lay things down it says some women received their death to life it says others died 
and didn't come back to life and all of them he joined it and called it faith are you saying that it matters how you are educated spiritually so every time you engage your faith it is always for things to come just because the bible says faith cometh. no are we together yes so believers have a lot of gaps in their lives and they cannot give god praise they don't know how to joy and sorrow in persecution when a believer is persecuted he does not understand but in scripture it says count it all joy my brethren are we not bible students again when you face diverse tribulations it says knowing this that the trying of your faith so what is being tried your faith listen to what i'm telling you it's very very important you are a christian and your car breaks down and now someone stands and says where is your faith your car just broke down now please i'm a man of faith and they make you feel guilty you stand in front of that car you are sad you are angry you are even ashamed to call a mechanic you would have called a mechanic in 30 minutes to fix that car but because your ego has been provoked you can stroll to the back of that car and lie down there and say god prove yourself you see because you have been taught that if that does not happen it's, it's a sign that you're, you are not growing spiritually our indices to measure spiritual growth is very poor and very terrible i don't know if someone is getting blessed tonight just follow what i'm teaching you there are many people who have become poor in church today because they continue to press to realms they have not gotten to as a proof that they are people of faith because something about our teaching has jumped the law of process and so we teach people that if it is god yes jehovah sharp sharp is alive but let me tell you the way the tree grows i mean the dealings of god in our environment should teach us how god builds when a woman carries seed no matter how anointed she is including mary jesus grew slowly in mary's stomach not even his being the word suddenly made him an adult and he said mary i want to come out he grew slowly so it is spiritual to subscribe to the law of process so you find people under pressure i must buy this car this year i must buy this cloth this year i must go around 10 countries this year and sometimes we lost driven men of god help to endorse this kind of futile agenda oh let me pray for you if you don't go around 10 countries this year you are not a christian if you don't do this you are not a christian and we propose please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that god cannot make for these things remember it's our year of extraordinary fruitfulness it is true that there are truths when you know they will set you free there are things when you don't know you will remain in bondage forever hallelujah so if you see a brother now with his 200 naira trouser his 1000 naira shirt you know if god tells you that brother is a man of faith you will not believe because our definition of faith is that the results must be there to show and it's very dangerous because there are people who are doing well but they leave their well-doing and compromise on that understanding because they are searching for results there are many wealthy people who don't have faith but simply because of the abundance of physical results you may think that that already means a lot of faith let me tell you this it matters how you are taught the ways of god it matters the beauty of your life will not come just because you have truth it must be arranged to be profitable when all else fell for job he had a solid foundation you know many times when we read the book of job we don't understand the entire scope do you know what it meant for job to be there and those who once depended on him will pass and look at him and say my god look at this man look at your wife look at your useless life dogs are licking your sores didn't i teach you that when god is silent he's speaking 
and that you must learn what he's saying when he's silent god why are you not talking and god replies and says understand what i'm saying when i'm silent it is a voice hallelujah let me tell you this i truly live a very peaceful life and the peace that is in my life has come from knowledge there are things that i have learned and i have known about god that has culminated to stability and rest this sabbath you see you don't enter into it just haphazardly there is a body of knowledge that will bring you into your sabbath and you can rest you can lie down in a boat that is boisterous and like jesus you are sleeping you can stand before goliath and know goliath is going down what do you know about this jesus that we celebrate and his word that can stand the times and the days that are coming then let's flip to the positive side what do you know about the word that is responsible for results in your life if i ask you to stand up today at random and i say tell me the principles you know in the dealings of god with men that provide for results what will you say i wish i had the time would have run a mic just on three or four people just at random and i say are you a believer yes born again yes filled with the holy spirit yes you can even pray in tongues let's see if you want to and then i'll now ask you i say now with with yours with your knowledge become a lecturer become a mentor in five minutes and coach us on the pathway to victory how do you guide a person who needs restoration in his life what do you know about god what is the system in the kingdom that is allocated for that outcome or are you just going to guess and hope and say well just pray i know prayer answers prayer is the key prayer is the master key jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer he was in the temple he was not praying he was studying there were many times he did other things prayer is a key not the key a key there are many other keys and if all you have is one key you will only enter one part of a house and sometimes that even that house that part you enter may not be where you are looking for if you have the key to a toilet and you are hungry you are in trouble you have a key but there is nothing in a toilet that will solve your current predicament are we together and sometimes the way you open the door to a kitchen is not the way you you can just turn it once and the door of a toilet is open but sometimes the door of a kitchen may require opening up and down then you push systematically if you don't know it there is bread in the kitchen so god will tell you there is bread in the kitchen but you are dying of hunger because of understanding you know if we spend half the time my brothers and my sisters that we use shadow boxing and guessing around and become like mary martha martha you are worried and upset about many things but one thing is needful to just stay and say lord show me this thing show me this thing it may take time but guide me spirit of the living god you are here to guide me any spiritual knowledge that does not translate eventually into your victory are we together now and the advancement of god's kingdom and your progressive knowledge of god is completely useless completely useless just because it is spiritual in context does not mean it's useful to your life and your destiny hallelujah so what do you know and what do you not know the entire prayer and fasting will be a time of dishing out spiritual truths let me tell you there is no hope for a man who rejects the understanding of the ways of god that is a truly hopeless man there's nothing you can do 
even deliverance i've taught you there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted it is preached he said to preach deliverance to the captives so there is a dimension of deliverance that is preached it is not the demon that needs to hear that message it is you there is a particular part of deliverance that is for the demon it's not for you so the demon hears the conversation and he's supposed to respond to it but there is a dimension that is for you you are the one who should hear god calls both deliverance so if it's only the demon that is hearing you are still in trouble because both the demon and you should hear something eventually to preach deliverance to the captives so if i cast out that devil and it leaves you and you remain like that i guarantee you my brothers and my sisters you will never be sustainably free and it takes a long time to build conviction don't think one conference is enough to impart conviction it took a long time for the build up of the error to stay in our minds it takes a long time i now understand why great men like kenneth e hagen and all these fathers of faith will stay around certain subjects for many years they were creating convictions notice that some of the churches that we admire the widespread spiritual understanding is because of a level of focus an intentional teaching of certain dimensions of the kingdom again and again so that the average member can come into that comprehension and come into that understanding we continue to make ourselves victims i'm sharing my heart with you because as i look around you know people just as powerful as you know people like uh, Ima, Ima came to share that he went to stand near my wall to touch that there's a dimension of god's grace there but you see the truth is that a day will come you will be somewhere where you you it has to be your personal knowledge of god nigerian believers are very lazy we like to connect with things that quickly bring acceleration it's a system of god's mercy to help you receive results while you learn because if god waits for the result to reflect your current knowledge you may never grow so he gives you an opportunity to tap into possibilities that are higher than your level of transformation so that while you are enjoying the result you can take time to grow because he knows that growth takes time so just because you are receiving results by partnering with a grace it is not a license to remain spiritually down you have to rise so that one day it is your own grace and work with god that will help another believer imagine if jacob stopped at the god of isaac and the god of abraham today will be robbed of a dimension that his knowledge of god has provided for us are we together spiritual knowledge that we are a peculiar people because of this the one pursuit that you must make and i'll talk a little about that shortly this year is to cry for light light illumination light light open up my eyes light my lamp god is not a herbalist he's a miracle worker but he's not a herbalist he will require partnership from you through understanding for you to get any results whatever it is that god has done in and through this ministry that is worth giving him glory for came by partnership through understanding faith cannot be faith until it is sponsored by understanding the foundation of faith is understanding you have to know the systems that are allocated for the results that you desire then when you are convicted about it then you act in accordance to what has been told you and then you will receive results very very important luke chapter 19 from verse 41 one of the two reasons why jesus wept jesus did not just weep in the grave of lazarus alone but jesus wept 
and when he was come near he beheld the city now he sees beholding a city and did what wept over it now if jesus is crying over something you need to find out what he's crying about next verse saying this is why he's weeping if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto your peace this is why jesus is crying he says but now they are hid from your eyes imagine jesus looking at you and crying and saying i wish you knew this i wish you knew this i wish you knew this have you i don't know if this has happened to you that you misplaced something or maybe you are looking for your handkerchief and it's on your shoulder and you are going from room to room in anger and waiting to see someone with it so that you will injure the person suddenly you find out that it was that person was you the things that pertain unto your peace the things that pertain unto your peace so there are things that pertain unto peace there is a science to your peace there are equations that make for your peace your peace there talks of your prosperity your greatness your health your longevity your well-being the things not the thing the things is a body of knowledge that pertain unto your peace he says but now they are hid from you there is what you can know and your church will never remain small it doesn't matter the darkness in the land it is your knowledge there is what you know that you will never beg forever till jesus comes it is true sponsored by knowledge there is what you will know that will command favor and the help of men to your life forever there is what you know that it doesn't matter the negative things that happen to you there is a system to turn it around for your good Jesus wept over that city. Let me show you a scripture. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Please read it with me. The people that walk in darkness have seen a not just a light and then it says they that dwell in the land of the sh how can a man dwell here is that an a habitable place he said but there are people that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them what happened the light shined notice that the solution to this category of people is light those who walked in darkness a version says they that sat in darkness sat in darkness sitting is a state of rest that means you are not even aware that it is darkness until the light comes he says they have seen a great light and then he says that those that have dwelt in the land of the shadow of death upon them light has shined that means every time there is darkness in your life and you cry god answers you the official way of answering prayer is sending light that's how god sends light his anointing is in his light if you reject his light you will never never access the power that helps people please understand what i'm teaching apostle why are things going on like this in my life the answer will be light there is a dimension of god's light why will my finances not rise there is a dimension of light why am i not excelling in life and ministry there is a dimension of light so when god wants to help a man let me show you how he helps a man his light comes come my dear and he brings you out he brings you out watch this he's bringing you out of darkness the coming of his light is your deliverance no matter what happens to you if light has not come you are not free if you like go out once there is no light you are not free spiritual illumination as god's system of deliverance he said i am the light of the world then later on he says he are the light of the world that means we help the world 
not just by building structures but by introducing an understanding listen the assignment of believers is not just to build physical structures remember the kingdom is a spiritual kingdom the first you help men not just by doing physical things please listen to me if i give this guy one thousand naira money is physical and anything physical is finite you help this brother by introducing light are we together now when the light of god comes it is able to translate this gentleman and activate possibility in it, possibilities in his life so you knew him to be someone who is standing here remember years ago this gentleman was holding his admission letter and today he's a doctor authorized to be able to handle whatever situation within the level of his knowledge light there are some dimensions that even as a doctor he cannot handle now if another kind of light comes it will move him forward we move forward by light we move forward my brothers and my sisters by light we increase by light so when satan wants to destroy you what do you think is the easiest way to destroy you to find a way to do something to the light or to do something to you the easier one is to do something to you so that you can make the word of God of non effect are we together now this is what has happened to so many people there are people who will hear the things I'm saying now and think that oh, this is it really important but look at the situations in their lives do you know let me tell you my brothers and my sisters in as much as we continue to pray here at the miracle service and I will keep doing it all my life and with all my heart but let me tell you the sustainable way of victory is to command your result by knowledge when you obtain a result that was not sponsored by knowledge you will fear the result because you know it will not last are we together now yes so this gentleman is here at the mercy of light this dear lady is here at the mercy of light my brother is here at the mercy of light oh god change my life and God says then open up your heart to light and if Satan wants to confuse you and sees that you have made up your mind to get light he can bring not the light you need he will allow light come but it's not the light that will solve your problem so you can get a book and be reading and learning mm, wow you are nodding your head but you will still remain there and you find out that the light you are receiving now is not needed for the situation illumination they that walked in darkness have seen a great light a great light let's look at a parable that Jesus gave uh, and then we'll come back here Jesus gave a very interesting parable Luke chapter 15 please Luke chapter 15 from verse 8 to 10 notice if you read the entire Luke chapter um, 15 it 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 reveals the kingdom as something that was missing and found missing and found three parables were in that Luke chapter 15 including that of the prodigal son so the and it it now gives the kingdom a similitude of something that was lost and then found something that was lost and then found this is one of the parables it says either what woman having ten pieces of silver and if she lose one doth not what look at how the woman is approaching a problem now once upon a time she had ten pieces of silver and then one got missing it's a representation of a dimension and look at how the woman recovers she does not just go around carelessly she knows it is somewhere but she needs to be specific she lights a candle and then she will use the light of the candle to do what to start sweeping the house and seek diligently by light till she finds it and seek diligently sweeping is not alone it's not enough you must seek diligently passionately lord there has to be a way you open scripture and you are crying out your heart and then light comes there's one thing i know about light when your light comes you must arise it is true 
it is true if you remain in a position the solution is not the strength of satan my brothers and my sisters the solution is light or enough light she has 10 pieces of silver she loses one and what happens she lights a candle neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel this woman is going around i must find the coin i thought she has nine more the same way if she doesn't master how to find coins the ninth one will lose the eighth one are you seeing the deception i like this woman whoever she is is a wise woman you don't wait till you have two coins left before you will not have the motivation to find it the moment one was missing she said i won't give life a chance whatever made the first one fall will make the second one fall until i master how to find it now the woman found what was missing let me tell you how satan deceives us one area of your life may not be doing well and many areas are doing well and you say it doesn't matter you won't give it the diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter i won't give it diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter are you seeing usually the areas you are focusing on satan will not touch it first he will touch the areas you will run to when he touches that one when he's done then eventually something happens and you turn and find out that eight or nine areas are gone but there are people when one thing is not going on well your bible lord there has to be light there must be a way there must be a way revelations don't just come when you pray revelation comes when you stay you stay prayer alone does not bring you see there are many people let me tell you this any successful person will tell you there is a place of diligence and there is the labor dimension of god's word i wish that anything you are looking for you will just find overnight no there are times that your time will be years will be months will be many years but no matter how long it is stay because when you find it the world will know you have found it it is costly to assume you have found it be sure early that you have found it because you may assume you have found it until life needs it and you cannot bring it out you have not found it they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh are we together now this is a very powerful scripture and i want you to learn that when people are sitting in darkness the solution the solution you know i travel quite extensively to go and minister many times when i get to a place with within the level of the grace that god has given me i can know what the problem is within minutes i know you can look at a man and know what his problem is and know what the solution is and if that person is not willing to take the solution then your heart breaks there are people today who come for counseling some of you join the queue for counseling you are standing for counseling and you are trying to tell me what is wrong apostle a b c and like a doctor i already know this is a problem and usually i can tell them okay get one two three koinonia messages and listen to and i just touch their head and you see the anger the annoyance sometimes you know they are expecting to touch me i didn't fall i didn't do anything i will tell the person get this and that message usually they will start moving as if they are going there and just turn and walk away now please don't feel bad you have tied your hands by yourself the system works with light the system works with light the system works with light nobody wins by mistake the system works with light so if you really want to be victorious your assignment is to be a student of light and this is what we are going to be doing the seven days is not just a time to pray and fast blindly is this not the kind of fast i have commanded it says then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth my brothers and my sisters we arise by light 
I look at my life today and I look at many things I did not know. And sometimes tears just come out from my eyes. Imagine that I knew it. And I wonder how many other things I do not know. What do you know about life? What do you know about men? What do you know about demons? What do you know about God? What do you know about time? What do you know about wealth? What do you know about greatness? What do you know about failure? What do you know about darkness? What do you know about light? What do you know about defeat? What do you know about victory? What do you know about Jesus? What do you know about Satan? That's where the victory lies. So a believer can be mentored to become victorious, not to become a church member. Meaning I can pick these three people right now and say, look, come and I will teach you the ways of God. Micah chapter 4, Zechariah chapter 4. That's the assignment. That the mountain of the Lord's house, give us Micah chapter 4, please. That it shall come to pass in the last days. Listen to the assignment of the church the last days that the mountain of the lord's house micah chapter 4 shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall do what flow to it next verse he says and many nations how many nations many shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us his ways they are there in search of light isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 he says arise shine for your light has come arise shine because you now know arise shine because you are no longer in ignorance arise shine because the power and the fear that comes with ignorance is broken amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light arise from the depression the prostration which circumstances have kept you they kept you through darkness they didn't press you physically they did something to your spiritual understanding and kept you there 80 percent of jesus's ministry was teaching notice how he made apostles he did not just make apostles there were times early in the morning they would go to pray but for three days all of you come up the mountain and he will continue to teach he did finish the curriculum when he resurrected he would have said everybody this is jesus back to life he said students quickly let's go we have my time i need to sit with you we have 40 more days to round up the course and for 40 days he kept teaching them teaching them on the matters of the kingdom when he was done he said tarry just 10 days you are good to go till today he has not seen a need to come back and say i failed when you give men light you really empower them when you give people money you give them donation when you give people clothes you give them charity but when you give them light you have really helped them giving is not only giving money money is not the only thing to be given the most useful thing to be given and that's how you know whether you'll be great or not if the things you like getting are physical you will not go far you must get the things that bring the physical things light show me someone who is in complete ignorance but will sit down and cry to the god of heaven and say lord i confess my ignorance show me show me open my eyes he said open down my eyes that i may behold that means that this kind of seeing god must open your eyes education cannot give you this kind of light it can prepare your mind to receive but only when god takes off the veil you will know there is a veil till he takes it off and then you say my god this is it this is it i found my way i found my way 
as haphazard as life is the knowledge of the ways of god you begin to connect the dots and see that i thought it was haphazard but there is a rhythm that synergizes life ask any great man ask anybody who god is using mightily they will be lying if they don't if they tell you they don't know what they are doing it's not true it's not true my passion let me tell you my passion is to continue to dispense this light just letting you know that light will lift you is not enough i must bring the specific light what is the light this is your book what is responsible for bringing this book back to your hands number one is it possible yes you see that but what is the system design remember this is the book he's looking for but he doesn't know how to pick this book between you and this book there is a mystery there is a light that must connect you you can stand and see the book forever and not get it and sometimes you don't just need to listen to god alone you need to listen to the person who has picked his own how dare you trivialize the person that picked his own Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God. You are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I will learn to walk in your ways and step by step. Let me tell you what is happening to you in koinonia keys are given to you get me a bunch of keys if you can find any you will get to a point my brothers and my sisters listen you will get to a point in your life and your destiny when you will know that life is many rooms and all those rooms need keys look at this this is a bunch of keys this is what god is giving you You've gotten three already, but he said that you need to open 70 rooms to succeed. So you now have three. You need to catch up. But you keep dangling three and say, I have three. And he says, those three rooms are just toilets. I need to give you keys. Listen, these are the ones that will reign in life. They who have paid the price. Lord, my child can be a bad boy so let me know in advance what is the key to restore a defaulting child it may be too late you don't get the key when you have the child you get the key before you have the child i don't pray that any arm robber will steal your car but what if he steals the car what is the key so god continues look at what you are doing he gives you a candle and he says keep sweeping and you are sweeping from one meeting to the other you are sweeping sometimes you say god i'm tired i've been sweeping for 10 years and i've just found four keys god will say a time will come you will find a bunch in one place you will not always pick one by one there are times when you, you will see many keys in one place let me tell you i submit to you this is what i've spent my life doing I'm like a spiritual archaeologist show me the keys what are the keys to the anointing i know i need this for ministry i need this for life and he says hold the light and keep sweeping you sweep from genesis to revelation you start again 
Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. You don't sweep once. Listen. So while you are sweeping, you will find a key. Sometimes you will not know that what you are looking at is a key till you come back to sweep again. All the keys don't look the same. Listen. Listen to me. Please listen to what I'm teaching you. It is not, it is not every key that appears as a key. You will look at some keys and they don't look like it. And the Spirit of God will say, pick it. When you see the kind of door that this key will open, you will know. Let me tell you how you prepare for life. You hold your keys. And then when you begin to walk, you will see people who went ahead of you standing before certain doors. You, you thought they went ahead, but there they are marking time. They only opened two doors out of 50 and they are standing. And God says, now remember the key I gave you in 95. Bring it out. Open this door. Remember the key I gave you in 2001. During your retreat, I gave you a small key. Now this is the small door that the key opens. Or step by step, you lead me, and I will call up my days. First step. been given unto you to know to know the keys of the kingdom this is what we do business with in this kingdom the keys our fathers who are gone ahead of us are called fathers because of this when you check them some of them the keys they have they can't hold it again they have looked for bags and when they see you sometimes they look at you and say i know this door i saw it before when i was 27 i saw the door let me tell you how the key looks like so when you read their books and listen to them that's what you are doing they are helping to show you the key let me tell you how satan cheats you sometimes he makes you think the keys you hold are not keys and you throw them and the thing is when you throw them if you are starting with god you will go back you have to remember where you threw them and start sweeping again koinonia hear me you may not have the car yet but you have the key you may not have the house yet but you have the key man of god hear me you have not started the church yet but these are your members hidden in the keys that you hold Listen, this is a very ancient secret that God taught me. Stay, stay on my word. Don't just be educated in terms of knowledge that pops up. Learn it. I remember when I found the law of encounter. Wow, this is the law that controls the power of God. I remember when I found the law of honor. It blew my mind. The master key. There are, I will, ah, why did I go ahead of myself? Because I will show you that there are master keys. When you don't find some keys, you can use some keys to find the ones you are missing. Yes, sir. They are called master keys. Master keys. Master keys. You find these keys. And sometimes, the door that will open is the door that your child's life depends on it's not every door that relates to you directly some doors are the keys that will feed your family some doors are the keys that will preserve you this is what god gave joseph he said joseph take this let me tell you this look at me those of us waiting for god to just bring physical things to bless you i'd like you to be matured and think like a believer Thank God for miracle alert. But if that's all you are waiting for, you are not thinking well. This is it. I commend you. I, look, he's, he's teaching you. He's saying, look, stop wasting your time. I hand you over to God. 
and to the word of his grace number one it is able to build you so that you are stable immovable unshakable then number two you will find keys here and you will pick them up you will get to some of these doors and find people who were standing there before you were born they are still there standing at those doors and knocking and knocking and here you come from nowhere that's how you show forth his praises because many of them will be saying this door cannot open we've been at this door from 1951 and here comes a warm jacob empowered by light and you turn it it may be an old door but you swing it open a time will come when they notice that you have mastered the art of opening doors then gentiles will come to your light you will no longer look for them listen this is the cure for complex this is the cure for complex no amount of good clothes good hair good anything can give you what this will give you the real secret of confidence is the holy spirit living in you and the dexterity of the spiritual knowledge that you hold they may persecute you but let's get to a door keep talking while we get to a door keep bragging while we get to a door keep making noise while we get to keep mocking god let us just get to a door every mockery ends when you stand before a door because only a key opens that door some of you are giving diligence to what you are doing now and you may not know what you are doing listen to me my brothers and my sisters people may laugh at you and mock at you you've been in koinonia for five years you have nothing to show no job no husband no money no no ministry no business no nothing and sometimes you feel guilty you have the keys you have just not reached the door and so you continue moving and then one day when you open that door when god is ready to announce you he can fast track 10 years of your life by keeping you on stage and you say son turn the key that opens the door to the anointing and on that day those who knew you will say from whence did this come and you say i found a key god gave me a key from that one meeting you may never rest again with the open doors that come open doors are only open because of the keys that open them they that walked in darkness it says arise from the depression lack of light can bring real depression not just medical depression a state where nothing works in a man's life but many of us ignore the keys and we are chasing shadows if only my uncle gave me five thousand I will never beg again if only um, I wear a nice cloth they will think if only I do this and that and God says look 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 you may be in that one room but carry keys keys Koinonia this is what God is going to be doing these seven days keys some of you threw some keys you had and God is going to be bringing you restoration more than restoration of a property or restoration of a this and that this is the real restoration the keys of the kingdom let me tell you fear a man who has held this there is no power there is no enchantment there is no devil that would throw such a one you keep watching that man your eyes will only keep going higher because of the power of this There are families that do not have even one key they are not born again listen to me from traditional worship this is where they stand father does not have a key mother does not have a key sister does not have a key there are some of you you want to get into ministry no key i'm called i'm anointed they poured oil on my head but were keys given to you you just get up and your first assignment requires 10 keys and you stand there stupefied with no keys 
you are not ready for life when you do not have keys no matter how you think you are ready listen while we prepare to start tomorrow you are going to have to cry which key don't i have be honest and be sincere tonight's meeting is a charge have i found the key to the grace of god have i found the key to the favor of god have i found the key hallelujah you can hear like like Ima was sharing there was a key that he found so when trouble came they would have killed that person for nothing and he engaged that key don't wait until they give you a report before you start checking and then you say ah i don't have the key is someone challenged tonight brothers learn this key life is harsh let me tell you sincerely i don't mean to discourage you what gives ease to life is the keys that you hold what betides a man that steps into life not holding any key and i will give you the keys of the kingdom i search for these keys and i continue to search for them and when you find them they are life to those who find them they are life to those who find them you need diligence you need diligence my brothers and my sisters who are going to pray you need diligence the keys are not just at plain sight sometimes you may need to search and search and search and search and search and lie down there there are times that the holy spirit will have to be the one to come and say look turn your eyes look there that's the key some of these keys cannot be found by the eyes of men it will take the holy spirit to open your eyes for this cause i bow my knees ephesians chapter 1 please give it to us and verse 17 he's praying for the church ephesians chapter 1 that the god of our lord jesus christ paul is praying the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened some versions say being flooded with light that you may know that you may know that you may know that's the key that you may know because what you do not know will keep you where you are forever you would think that life will just move you forward automatically you will never move forward automatically not in ministry not in career whatever it is even if they are attacks there is what you will need to know for your victory victory will not just come if it would just come like that some of our loved ones would have been free step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days step by step you lead me and i will follow you as i travel for meetings and i see the wonder working power of spiritual knowledge and the anointing of the holy spirit i am grateful to god but sometimes i ask the question what if i didn't have the key do you know someone will die if you don't get this key and that someone may be you it may not always be someone around you arise shine arise shine give god glory john chapter 1 and verse 6 the bible says there was a man sent from god his name was john it says the same came for a witness verse 7 that he came to bear witness to the truth are we together now and that all men might through his witness 
believe. All men might through that witness believe. There are people who will never believe in Jesus until they see your light. I've been preparing myself for these seven days. Lord, what do I not know? Thank God for what I know. But I need the one that I do not know. If you have 30 over 100, you got 30, but you failed. You didn't get zero, but you didn't get enough to pass. So ignore the 30 and focus on the 70. Even if you have 80 over 100. You see, in this kingdom, it is what the 10. Sometimes the one key you don't have can rubbish all the other keys that you have. One key. Hezekiah was at the point of death. Chapter 38 of Isaiah. The word of the Lord came to Isaiah, the son of Amos. Go and tell Hezekiah to put his house in order. He will not recover from the sickness. A real prophet. And Hezekiah said, man of God, I honor you. I obey you. You can go. And he turned his face. Where you know what to do. You can listen to people and say, I've heard you. May God bless you. When you close the door, you pick your keys. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There is a name. Ah! Blind Bartimaeus. He had been trying many things, but not the key. People will pass and he say, help me, wicked people. He didn't open the door. One day he learned about the mercy of God. And he said, come now. Let that opportunity come. As soon as Jesus was passing Jericho for the last time, he no longer said, help me. He said, thou son of David, have mercy. The moment Jesus had that mercy, he said, ah, the cross, the cross, mercy. Because when you call mercy, Jesus must stand. Mercy. What should I do for you that I might see? And that was it. That man would have died there. Thou son of David. Do you know when to call him Jesus and when to call him the son of David? Do you know what occasion necessitates? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to walk in exact knowledge. I want to walk in knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain and he has redeemed them, us now, unto God. He says, I, I beheld and I saw a lamb that had been slain. Weep not, he said, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is worthy, qualified to open the book and unlock the scroll it says and when i looked i saw a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes the spirit of god providing for perfect revelation seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes apostle when will i rise the day the light to lift you comes Will I rise in August if you want to? Will I rise this April if you want to? Will I rise in May if you want to? The choice is yours. Your addiction to his light is what culminates to your rising. Please hear me as I preach to you. Time will never change anything. It will take light. The entrance of thy word give it light not just knowledge light and then understanding to the simple hallelujah something happened to me today that almost brought tears and i said god how many people may never 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 be able to experience certain dimensions of your hand simply because of this light that they do not know do you know many times when i'm praying truly speaking i think in the last one month my prayer life now i don't even know what to say again many times i just kneel down and tears just come out of my eyes thank you thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for taking away ignorance
thank you for taking away ignorance separating me from darkness it's the power of God is someone willing to pray tonight Lord I'm tired of where I am I don't want to lie to myself again I'm tired of this realm there is a dimension in God that he seeks to bring me this can't be it God is so much bigger than this oh, this can't be it God is so much bigger than this one more time this can be God is so much Listen Was it not ignorance that caused Cain If Cain knew how to do it well He would have gotten it Cain did it but he did it wrongly God is no respecter of persons but he will respect his ordinances forever there is something we do not know the bible says the lord is nigh them that call upon him until you have a broken and a contrite heart say lord i've seen this and i thank you but open my eyes in this area is someone desperate to cry tonight open my eyes open my eyes Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4. Please give us an amplified. It's a popular scripture here. You know it. Let's start from verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. It says, God coming from Teman, you know, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. It says, and his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Verse 4 very powerful scripture it says and his brightness was like the sunlight rays streamed from his hand and there in that light was the hiding place of his power god's power is hidden in his light remember the teaching last week his divine power has given us all things but that divine power comes at the instance of the light so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the greater your knowledge the greater your exact spiritual illumination that is the depth and the dimension of power that you will command the bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness you can call darkness light for many years please open your mouth and cry and say lord damage darkness from my life drive it far from my life drive it far from my life Take away darkness from my life. Take away darkness, oh God, from my life. What are you turning to? Listen. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Now, open the eyes of the blind. 
Fasting is ushering into a new season because of the light that is coming and because of what you will do with it. Your heart must be prepared to receive it. Listen, just one spiritual law that is well understood can turn your life around. A law of will turn your life around. is damaging ignorance 
transiting you from being general and putting you in a spectacular position that everyone that sees you will know that you are called by the name of God. It may not look like it, but my brothers and sisters, don't forget that this is God we are talking about. God is changing every in my life. God is starting something new in my life. He won't stop. He won't stop. So when the moon moon just like it, he won't stop. No, he won't stop. Till my life moves like it. God is doing Listen. Listen to me. I like you to cause the spirit of distraction. Destruction is a wicked spirit. You will listen to every other thing but the word that will lift you. He said he sends forth his word. The word is a messenger. It will be coming to people. A buffet of big mysteries in the kingdom. Lift your voice and cause destruction. in the Bible that can fight the world. One of it is called the traditions of men. It says you have made the world of none effect through the tradition. Tradition. You don't have the flexibility to adjust. This is always how I've been taught. This is how I know it. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. Lord, do something to my wine skin that will give way so that a new wine skin will come. Lift your voice and pray. I'm tired of the old wine skin. I've exhausted the results that come with the old wine skin. Are you praying? New wine. New wine. New wine. In my wine skin. New wine. Number two, unbelief. They had the war just like it says, there remained a rest for the people of God. It says, in that day, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Unbelief. 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 You hear the word of God and all kinds of contemplations begin to come. Give us Romans chapter 4 please. Romans chapter 4. We are praying. We are preparing our hearts for tomorrow. Romans chapter 4. Let's study Father Abraham in one minute. And learn from him the principles that make for true faith. Abraham... From verse... 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations you are going to be hearing things like this but the bible says before whom he believed even god who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were 18 18 who against hope some of you are going to have to believe and hope against hope because the things God will tell you to, to do or the things God will tell you will come back to life are already dead and have been long dead and yet God will tell you they will come back to life. He believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according as that which was spoken. Next verse 19. He says, and not being weak in faith, he considered not this is not a week to start considering. Okay, now that prophecy is coming, that this will happen, let me calculate. He 
if only my uncle called me no that one is not faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb next verse he staggered not you believe now and then as soon as you share the grace you are just with someone and he says oh boy we only said amen no even me god knows i don't believe it you are staggering vacillations of your convictions you believe this today and by tomorrow you change but was strong in faith giving glory to god lord i challenge unbelief as a spirit every word that is coming from you i i i i obtain the faith to receive it lift your voice and those outside please pray those online pray i receive the faith hallelujah listen to me sustainable listen please sustainable liberty and freedom please listen to me sustainable liberty and freedom in the kingdom is a byproduct of revelation are you hearing what I'm saying it's not a matter of chance it's not an issue of luck. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It takes the spirit of revelation to keep you in a position that you will remain there forever. Satan notwithstanding. It takes revelation. This is what the body of Christ does not have. Revelation. 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 When light, hear me, when light breaks open in your spirit, Concerning a dimension in the spirit, you will stand and sit in a seat of authority there forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Revelation. Insight into the mysteries, the keys, the operation of the kingdom. When you know how things work in the kingdom, then you will occupy a position that cannot be taken again forever. A position that you will be secured about hallelujah it takes an anointing there is something called the spirit of revelation hallelujah and we're going to be praying Ephesians 1 from verse 17 to 19 Paul began to pray and said for this cause I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus he says that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation illumination accurate knowledge of the operation of the things of the kingdom hallelujah I did a teaching some weeks ago the walking knowledge of the word can I tell you something any knowledge you know that cannot improve the quality of your life and advance the kingdom of God is junk. Kick it out. It doesn't matter how, how powerful it is. Because the Bible says, ye shall know the truth. And if it is really the truth, it will set you free. Are you listening to me? Many of us have knowledge that puff up, 
but it's not consistent with the operation of the kingdom. It's time for you to begin to edit a lot of things. Don't let people fool you with. Listen, see, the apostle speaking said, we did not teach cunningly devised fables. In order, these things are not just grammar. They exist. They are not just cunningly devised fables. Philosophies of men that are nice. You have quoted them. You have done a lot of things. It's time to pray. Paul prayed and said, the spirit of revelation. He said that you may understand in all you're getting. Get understanding. Know how it works. Don't just know that it works. Know how it works. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. The kingdom of God is a system. It's a structure. You can learn its operation. It is this learning of the operation that is called revelation. Revelation is not just some spooky things about dimensions, about what color blue means in the spirit and what green means. If that thing is not improving your life and making you a man of power and grace, if it's not changing your territory and if it's not advancing the kingdom of God, kick it out. Many of us have knowledge that puffs us up, yet demons can stand, look you to the face and oppress you. The Bible says there, ever learning, ever learning, but never coming to the comprehension, epigenosco, the accurate understanding of the way spiritual things work. Ever learning, receiving, rema upon rema. Can I tell you something? There is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am one of the many ways. I am the way. The principles of the kingdom can be known. You can know that you know them. The apostle says that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have, at what points did he handle it? He says such as I have. A man can know when he has something. Such as I have. And there is an anointing that opens the eyes of men. Are you hearing me? If you go to a native doctor, there is something he can do to your eyes. And when others are looking, you are seeing. Revelation 3, 18. It says, anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. There is an anointing that causes your eyes to see so that you will accurately understand the operation of things. Anoint your eyes with ulcer. And then you will see. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, it's not just for miracle service tonight. I want to receive things that I know how they came. So that I can reproduce the result again and again. If you are healed and you don't know how it's there. What if you go to a territory where there is no koinonia? We are raising ambassadors. What makes ambassador is knowledge and understanding. Revelation. That every time you are confronted with an issue, you understand what operation of the spirit has been designed. You are going to pray oh, inside and outside. When it's time to pray, pray. Because prayer is also a key in the kingdom. It says, is any man afflicted? It is a let him sing praise and worship. Let him pray. Let him pray. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, anoint my eyes tonight. I'm tired of guesswork in the spirit. Anoint my eyes tonight. Bring me into an accurate comprehension of the laws of the spirit, the laws of the kingdom. Pray, Lord, anoint my eyes. This trouble that is going on in my family, teach me how to solve that problem. 
teach me so that any day I see that problem, I know what to do. He said, the men of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. They knew what to do. He said, Jesus himself knew what to do. When you know what to do, you will not just receive miracles, you will become the miracle worker. Come on, pray. Lord, I need to know what to do concerning my finances. I need to know what to do concerning my marriage. I need to know what to do to keep the heavens open I need to know what to do to keep growing in the anointing I need to know what to do to accurately understand the world I need to know what to do to remain in hell I need to know what to do the spirit of revelation hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen to me. Let me tell you something that will surprise you. Look at me. Time does not change anything. It is revelation that changes things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Time does not have the ability to change things. Time only becomes useful if you incorporate it into the current revelation of what you are having. Oh, one day I know God will do something. I know my God. Let me tell you something. If you know what to do, and it is time that is bringing it to manifest, then you can rejoice. But if you are not doing anything, and you are only hoping, you will wait forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will wait forever. 38 years, he was at Bethesda, the pool there. But within minutes, that man became whole. Is that true? You are going to pray and say, Lord, today I set the time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, since time is not a factor in the spirit, that means this night is my own time. Lift your voice and pray. Give us this day, not tomorrow. Give us this day. Give us this day. Give us this day. That change of genotype. Lord, bring it tonight. That HIV virus. Let it die tonight. That joblessness. Let it die tonight. That upliftment in your ministry, let it come tonight. That apostolic fire, that prophetic fire, let it be tonight. That new level of grace and authority in the spirit, let it be tonight. Zinanda dianta, repata ta ta prega diando, linga ta sta parianta, linga bodianga bola, le sta diando sedi dia, manga le mia cosa. Sheda da 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 baka. Something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget. In a long time, I'm prophesying to you something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Please sit down for a while. There are people standing outside. Please let there not be any vacant seat. If there is a vacant seat, call them in. There are people standing. God will bless you. Wherever you are, God will visit you. Please let, let's not have any vacant seat. Please, ushers, let all the seats be filled. There's no reason why there should be vacant seats. Well, there are people standing outside.
Praise the Lord. I want to welcome everyone to our August miracle service. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. My prayer all the time is that you do not become too familiar with the things that God is doing because he's not always doing the same thing. Hallelujah. Let it not be like Jacob that the Lord was in this place. I want you to know that tremendous amount of prayer and spiritual preparation goes in for every meeting and much more the miracle service. Are you hearing me? God is not a joker. He will not bring you here to play jamboree with you. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I know that there is a God and I know he will do wonders this night. Matthew chapter 4 very quickly. I welcome everyone. There are so many people coming from different places. Hallelujah. Salute you. I celebrate you. When I was coming in, I saw a number of men of God outside. God bless you. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Matthew 4. My spirit is fired up this night. Verse 23. Matthew 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases. Listen please. Diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed or oppressed with demons and those who had epilepsy and those who had the palsy and he healed them and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond the Jordan there are many of us who have come from different parts of this city and different states in this country the Bible says when they all came to Jesus not to a man of God he healed them all. I want you to know that the Lord Jesus is in this place. Are you hearing me? The Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. And by the grace of God, God has given us an anointing. He says, Son of man, prophesy to the dry bones. When he prophesied, he didn't say, Hear ye the word of Ezekiel. He said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the one who sent me to prophesy. So tonight you will hear the word of the Lord. And faith comes by hearing. Listen to me please. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. The hearing comes by the word of God. When you hear the word of God. You get up. And you take action. Until you have taken action. You have not taken any step of faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Faith is just, it's not just about confession. Faith is about taking action. Every time you do not take action, it's a sign that you are still doubting. Is that true? Bishop Oedeko said, if it is truly the word of God, if it is faith, it will move you into action. If that word does not move you into action, hallelujah, then it means it was not faith. So you cannot move your leg and the word of God comes. You receive it. Prove that you have received it by taking action. And Peter held on to his hands and lifted him and the man leaping stood. His bones and ankles regained strength. Take away your eyes from whatever problems. 
please if you've not written your prayer request while you're sitting down just write it quickly we have to be very brief this night and be out of here praise the lord so i want you to believe that you are in the presence of the living god god will not bring you to waste your time realize that it is within his ability to heal you do you believe that it is within his ability to change your story it's within his ability to anoint you there are many of us who have stayed at certain levels of grace for a long time it's time to move forward the bible says ye have tarried around this mountain long enough turn ye not words hallelujah whatever it is that you desire the bible says and whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it so tonight you are the one that knows the problem don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you as the word of the lord begins to come don't wait until your case is called the calling of the cases of people is just sign a sign and a wonder the Bible says Jesus was in the room teaching and the power of God was present to heal. Just like the glory and the power of God is present this night to heal, to deliver. There are many of you, you have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits. You want to move forward. There are strongholds keeping you down. There are strongholds. Hear me please keeping many families down you do everything you know to do and there's no advancement everybody every lady in the family no marriage pretty lady no marriage it's not like you live the promiscuous life that devil will bow this night are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you no job everybody in your family you went to school suffered for years nothing to show forth for it acts 10 38 he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the bible says he went about doing good and healing it didn't say those who were sick healing all day that were oppressed sickness is an oppression are you hearing what i'm saying that terminal disease is an oppression. Tonight, don't give excuse for anything. It's not your sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not your HIV. Yes, you have medical reports. But whose report will you believe tonight? That's the question. Whose report will you believe? Whose report? make up your mind some of you they have concluded about you as you are here right now scattered in this crowd inside and outside there are many of you everybody has concluded about you they said just forget this guy or forget this lady the person is a useless person but the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut down at the scent of water let me tell you something many of you because of certain things you have done like samson your hair has been cut this is the place tonight that that hair will grow back he said rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet will i rise again are you listening to me this is the place the bible says son of man what yes thou he said four horns these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in Judah. He said, but I will send carpenters. Carpenters. Hallelujah. There are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life and nothing good will come out of your family. The Bible says, who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not decreed it? Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults. Ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered. And many of us are suffering things we have no idea of. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. 
tonight God will visit you are you hearing what I'm saying God will visit you there are some of you here you are tired struggling like my brother shared with all kinds of habits you are a man of God great woman of God but pornography will not live your life you have you have fasted you have prayed as you are fasting the devil is still mocking you hallelujah you are still fasting you are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody you are it's not like you are bad that devil is a liar this night because the hand of the lord will be strong upon you are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work it will keep working for others till it gets to your tongue make sure as you are receiving tonight hear me every one of us is representing at least a family are you listening to me he said as for me and my house they didn't call all of them one by one somebody stood in the gap as for me that terminal disease eating your father or your mother he can bow this night Because the Bible says, wherefore God has so highly exalted him. He said, and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, what will happen? How many knees? How many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV? Cancer? Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Yet. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question where was the handwriting written there are handwritings ordinances of darkness nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age suddenly some things begin to happen some of you as you are sitting looking at me and hearing me outside you are being molested by all kinds of things you are sleeping in the night all kinds of devilish things oppressing you you are afraid nobody knows see this night let me tell you just humble yourself and open up your spirit are you hearing me keep your whatever it is and say lord do something in my life this night hallelujah demonic things the devil and his assaults joining the heads of people Playing with people's destinies. There are many of you. You and your, you know this. You and your, you are perpetually living under a closed heaven. But this is why the Lord brought you tonight. The name Miracle Service, we would have called it Worship Service. Miracle Service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was just it was not just a name that was formulated it's a miracle service and your faith your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of god kenny said something but was it kenny or, or or pastor jakes now that said something very powerful he said make sure that this night you are not watching other people some of you like watching other people some of you even came because of what you had some of you are critics you just came to verify a lot of things some of you came with a sincere desire some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said i'm going for koinonia i said oh, love does everything let me tell you something redefine your priority this night are you hearing what i'm saying some of you are coming as usual some of you are coming because you are workers he said he that cometh unto him must believe first that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from home i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before you begin to touch the people i'm not being selfish hallelujah don't stand watching people and say why are they praying like this why are they jumping like this and celebrating God? You can get up, we will share the grace and you will go back. You will be watching. This is, this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one. Every time people are open, 
say, how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say, God, visit me? You are carrying your dignified self and God will pass you and touch somebody. And then at the end of it, you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs. Testimony is coming and you say it's not true. Why is it that there are only specific people? This thing is stage managed. If you open up your heart, that's what God told Cain. Cain was complaining why Abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving. God said, if you do what Cain did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? Participate in the meeting this night. Follow instructions diligently. When they say lift up your hands and say amen, don't say please, this lifting up of hands, this is the problem. Say my story must change this night. Say from your heart, my story must change this night. Say Lord, I know you are alive. I know you are powerful. I know you are able to visit my life Visit the works of my hands. Visit my health. Visit my family. And this night, I place a demand by faith that I will truly receive. Can I tell you something? If your heart is not open to receive, it's better to go home. You can do something meaningful with your time. You can go and read the Bible or do something else. But I advise you this night, don't be among the spectators. If you don't have an expectation, carefully think about it. There's no crime not having one. But get one. So that you are not in confusion. The Bible said, give us this day our... It didn't say, give us this day what we need. That's too ambiguous. Give us when? Specific time, specific need. Our what? That's what he wanted. Daily bread. So Lord, give me this day, this change of genotype. Give me this day a change of result. Give me this day a story. Lift my head, oh God. Let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family. There are some of you like Gideon. You are, your family is the least. And you are the least in your family. And you are busy hiding. This night the Lord is speaking to you. What are you doing on the ground, oh mighty man of valor? Do you not know who you are in Christ? Redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings. Are you hearing me? He said, awake thou that sleepest and Christ will give you light. Awake. As that reign of glory comes. Some of you, what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace. The grace you have is there, but you have gotten to the limit of it. There are certain dimensions. Hear me, let me tell you something. See, grace is in levels. The Bible says he measured a thousand cubits. Is that true? Measured another thousand cubits. Those will open to you according to the degree of grace. Let me tell you the truth. It's not everything that is possible for everybody. Are you hearing me? I told you we are all equal in Christ, but we are not equal in grace. The prophet's servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body nothing happened is that true but the prophet came and did it see that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in christ but tonight jesus himself the bible says and if i be lifted up tonight we have exalted him with all the worship christ is lifted up you cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles and they bound something some of us have been bound by limitations by mindsets the bible says but the hand of the lord came upon something and that rope became like wax like wax many of you will shake out of some things this night some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you but can I tell you something? Your enemies will call your name and you will answer. You will say, I'm alive. I got into that dungeon. But before then, that Shekinah of God that preserves men, you will come out strong, come out wise, come out powerful, 
come out full of grace and tell them i have a testimony i know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death but god who can take a man from a dung hill the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon tonight many of you will activate breakthroughs god will connect you let me tell you something listen to me the holy ghost gave me a revelation some time ago he said god is called the father of spirits have you ever known the meaning of that name that means every spirit is subject to him when the disciples came in luke in the book of luke they said they came rejoicing saying master even the demons were subject to us through thy name and jesus said do not just rejoice because the spirits so he's called the father are you listening to me the chief the captain above every spirit including the spirit of your destiny help us and so if the father of spirits moves he can move any spirit hear me the bible says nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night he got up by himself he said oh daniel has your god been able to save you may my god reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families the father of spirits every spirit listen herbalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father forget about that thing and say lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go i will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation i know you trekked from town to come here but can i tell you something god is able to change the story of a man tonight let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant let me tell you the truth my bible tells me god opened the womb of leah god opened the womb of rachel it is god that opens a door that no devil can shut and he can shut a door that no devil can open Revelation 3 verse 8 he said behold I know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word he said behold I set before you I set before you hallelujah we had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God hallelujah someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State 
is the one that he designed for state governments, their websites. And he just called us. He said, Koinonia messages have been blessing him, opening him to dimensions in the spirit. He said he has been stepping into new levels in his career. And he said, please, I want to transport myself, foot my bill, lodge myself, and come and build a free website for the ministry. And I want to train the media team on how to maintain it, everything free of charge. How can you explain this? See, listen, listen. I don't say this thing. See, let me tell you something. We tell testimonies because the testimony of Jesus... That means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the Christ is a spirit of prophecy. Meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life. Hallelujah. The testimony of Jesus. The spirit of prophecy. Don't sit down there and say, can it happen? You are seeing what God, you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and is not working in your life. Get angry this night. Get angry. He said, I and all the children that the Lord has given me, get angry. When they saw the apostle, they said he had been with Jesus. See, listen, let me tell you this night. Don't you ever, hear me, don't you, just leave him, leave him. Don't you ever, are you hearing me? Try to make Satan make you think there is no hope. That language of there is no hope is of the devil. Some of you are outside, share my voice. Because there are many voices speaking. There are some voices telling you, you will never marry. Ladies, hear me. Some are saying, because you live a past life. Look at how it is in your house. What is your business? With what has happened to Mr. ABC. The Bible says. A thousand shall fall by your side. Is that true? They fell near you. He said another ten thousand. By your right side. He said none shall harm you. Some of you hear me. This night. I'm serious about this marriage thing. We are going to break this devilish yoke. Some of you have been laughing about it. If you don't take it serious. This night you will be surprised. You are just saying I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't get up and deal with it this night. The Bible says, The whole world lieth in wickedness. Don't let cartoons fool you. This world is not a playground. Are you hearing me? So when it's time to receive, make sure you receive. And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said, kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of Jesus. He said, destroy everything of the past. Tonight, let me tell you something. Everything, whether your mistakes, whether your carelessness of the past, the Bible says, remember not the former things. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? Let me give you a few seconds right now. I'd like you to think on the things you want God to do for you. Please, don't be mechanical about this. We are not doing jamboree this night. Think very well. Know what you want God to do. If his husband, say husband. Don't say a man. If his wife, say wife. If his breakthrough, say Lord, my heavens are short. If it's finances, say finances. If it's your ministry that is dying, 
no growth. Say, oh God, measure a thousand cubits this night. Any area of your life, terminal disease, infections, lump in your breast, cancer, whatever it is, just believe God. Don't say we have been coming. I came the last time I did receive. Master, we have told all night, they said. He said, nevertheless, this night, I thy word. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute. Exercise your spirit, man. Outside. I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud. The Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside. God will do mighty things outside. Pray in one minute. Cry out your expectation to God. Go ahead. Forget about your neighbor. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, you know that you are my last hope this night. You are my last hope in this place. If you do not help me, there is no help again. If you do not save my family, if you don't change our story, then let it be that there is no God. But I have no option again. Pray. That demon spirit assaulting your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough. That yoke of bad luck. Pray. Christ has redeemed you. By faith tonight, you will enter into the experience. Christ has paid the price. You don't need to pay it again. But it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done. The price has been paid. It will not be paid this night. That ultimate price. Yes, Lord. just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high I hail you most high I truly hail hail you Hallelujah. Hear me. 
the power of God is present in this place mighty and God is going to be fishing out people and families hear me some of you will stand in for your family every yoke of darkness every curse every the power of God is already moving every curse outside I want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout Jesus hear me the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now Holy Spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things I give you all the glory at the count of three hear me I confront gates I confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil I speak from the realm of the spirit and I confront altars by the fire of the Holy Ghost you will bow at the count of three one two three shout Jesus that devil of darkness come out let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost bring them out bring them out every act of witchcraft every act of divination every act of sorcery let the fire fall I expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord this night they will scatter hallelujah lift up your hands again outside hallelujah hear me those of you outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus God is not done with you please pick them and bring them many of it will be a mass deliverance are you hearing me just those outside 
right now at the count of three one two three is the name above all names yokes are breaking spells are breaking yokes are breaking yokes are breaking It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, it's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just leaving. Leaving. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. 
there's fire upon every devil fire shake it's the fire of the holy ghost there's no hiding place listen as this is happening to you i want you to know that this is happening in your family too are you hearing me This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns, this is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou oh, devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulcer. If you have ulcer, lift your hands. Anybody? Ulcer. Please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now, we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You are a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you are coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing me. Who is Hanatu? Hanatu. Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now. Don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Han You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness spell and yokes of bondage let our family go now in the name of Jesus Christ God is not just delivering the family God is anointing this young man God will do mighty things take the anointing you will become a mighty man of God mighty man of God hallelujah sister this lady come please quickly 
Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm hearing the name Grace. Look at me. Who is Grace? I'm hearing the name Grace. Your friend? Your church member. We need to pray for grace because death wants to take her life. Are you hearing me? Grace, that's, I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one, I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? No, sir. Are you married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now. Because you're looking pretty on the outside. Are you hearing me? But I'm seeing shadow. That's the only thing I'm seeing as your face in the spirit. There is no form, just shadow. But the Lord is going to set you free. Number two, who is doing a building project? Me. A building. Did you tell me? This is the second thing God is going to do. Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? You sure don't just say yes or are you very sure shoes and bags. okay you are going to see an escalation in your business three th these three things hold my hands father that yoke of bondage i break her free from it right now ah what is this thing that i'm seeing again do you know what i'm seeing i'm not seeing a woman i'm seeing a man See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Petrus, your son name is Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Please let's hurry up. Your son name is Petrus. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there some of you feel like water in your ears just put your hands please as you're receiving miracles some of you i'm not mentioning your case just walk out bishop stan and pastor jakes are outside take the courage to walk out now go and drop your testimony hallelujah we're going to take one or two of them the ministers are at the back hallelujah they are standing even if the miracle has started they'll perfect it look at me come see brother come where were you sitting? Outside, at the back. Hold on. What happened to you? Hi, man. I was sitting down outside. So I've been coming here for like very well, but I've not felt anything. So I opened up my heart. And what happened? What happened? That's the question. Body vibrating, man. See, the Lord Jesus, because even now God has not finished. One of the things God is calling you. It will be a time of preparation but god is calling you you're going to be a great teacher of the word are you hearing me you will teach the word very prophetically look at my eyes just look at my eyes spirit of revelation my god i pray the eye is the light of the body let something happen to this brother let there be a straight line from genesis to revelation i impart upon you just look at my eyes you're receiving a mighty impartation hallelujah please go outside god is visiting people i'm seeing some someone healed lump in the breast lump in the breast is getting healed right now right now the moment it is your case celebrate god check it and go out 
celebrate it there's nothing to be ashamed of this is this is a outside a lady is healed lump in the breast your right breast outside there's healing going on right now a lump in the breast outside a lady is being healed lump in the breast is going hallelujah now blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands want to rebuke that devil thank you jesus thank you jesus if you're lifting your hands lift it because the power of god will come upon you right now in the name of jesus i pray blood disease be healed be healed right now inside and outside be healed hiv virus die now in the name of jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come march your legs go ahead go ahead march look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just march in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this give jesus a shout of praise open the heavens let it rain let it rain Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. 
five months you are a lady here you have not seen your period for five months five months you have not seen your period you've shared it with a few friends right now this night this night i know there are lady ushers they will help you hallelujah all kinds of menstrual issues it will disappear it will disappear right now open the floor gates of heaven as soon as i pray for you take her to the restroom you will check yourself right now right now that yoke of bondage be free now by the power of the holy ghost there's the fire of the holy ghost please take her please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed she's not the only one there will be miracles there are more miracles coming celebrate jesus christ please can we have another mic so that pastor jakes is there another mic okay it's here please just go to the back go to the back yes hallelujah this brother's name is dennis 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 and while standing here when the man of god said she lift up her hands and those that had ulcers she lift up your hands god is healing ulcer she actually had ulcer and it translated into asthma hallelujah and while lifting up his hands what happened praise the lord this is my first time to come here and it leaked to asthmatic hallelujah as the man of god says like if you have as uh, if you have ulcer and i believe he's going to he's going to be healed and as i lift up my hand i'm having chest chest pain hallelujah but now i'm not feeling anything it's just as cool as breathe as breathe in and out breathe in and out go hallelujah. ahead breathe in and out breathe in and out in and out any problem no celebrate problem. jesus hallelujah migraine headache has just been healed migraine headache has been healed now migraine headache please check yourself migraine headache migraine headache has been healed make sure you just rush down to the back migraine headache thank you jesus christ migraine headache has been healed now please listen there's someone you wake up in the morning your heart area here your heart area pains you it's as if your heart is tearing when you wake up early in the morning this thing has been happening for a long time who is that person your heart just just this way. you cannot even sleep on that side because when you rest on that side you have serious problem this is not the only one i'm seeing a lady you're a young lady you're a young lady Open the floor gates. Mama, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is a official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it down, Mama. Her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is C. The devil wants is supposed to be from her head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are Yes. The pains are gone? Yes. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jakes are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone. Pain, gone. Come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of
She feel. Is this still? Is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at, look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Allah mungo de makaya ubangi chikai kare kai sayo Allah mungo de makaya ubangi chikai kare kai sayo Come on dance celebrate Jesus ubangi outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, re pain. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. And while this moment, while I was standing right here, when this woman just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you are healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please, don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? Any pain? I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone, the, I think, the, did I say left or right now? Breast lump. Breast lump is gone. It's gone. Check it. Don't, don't wait. Check, check and go outside. Pastor Jakes is there. They are busy verifying people's cases. Inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 wait. Listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, 
the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jax will still come up here and Bishop Stan. Ah, whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003, she was sick, so we took her to the hospital and we transfused her. After them, she was. One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the Spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families. The power of God will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed. Let's listen. They transfused her and after... What did they say is wrong with her? The doctor confirmed that she has HIV. With the transfusion of blood, she has HIV. That's what the doctor confirmed. That what? It's HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? Favor. How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight, like the prayer of Jabez, he said, Oh, that goodest bless me hallelujah you will go and test her you will come back with a testimony we will change it HIV is a spirit and it will bow sweetheart hold my hands hold my hands both of your hands yeah. just leave her She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostle, this is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Two years. Right now. It's gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying. Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed feel a pain in fact there used to be like a growth check it it has disappeared check it right now it has disappeared check it it has disappeared check it god is doing mighty miracles check it it has disappeared hallelujah now i'm seeing a woman there are objects that move in your body serious objects it moves sometimes to your legs sometimes to your chest hallelujah 
right now as I pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of Jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening like, I tell you there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly she's this person. is the person she movement she had an her. accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, sir. jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big hand. Sister, I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Kalonkura. Eh? Kalonkura. Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm seeing? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? The whole class. Primary school. Okay, you the primary school, they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. If there is a woman here you've suffered barrenness or a man anything that you have not given but come out here quickly please quickly quickly bishop is still coming and jakes we have to hurry up there's a big that will happen here please come out quickly you you must be married though except if you are standing for somebody Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is lack of, lack of, 
children. You see the relevance of meetings like this? Listen to me. Who is standing for herself or for himself? For yourself. For yourself. Come here, please. Quickly. Those who are standing for others, just wait. For yourself. Look at me. Are you together? She's your wife. Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. Ah, you're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't see, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. It's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage here? Yeah? When, when, when is the wedding? Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the Spirit. Before the end of this month, you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God. Father of spirits, connect them. You are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Wow, mighty miracles again are happening. You too, you, for yourself, lay your hands on your stomach. Come, because I'm seeing something else. What did the doctor say? Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, EID, we'll pray, whatever it is. And you see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand, some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you, and that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I, this is bad. Viewers discretion. I'm sorry, don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God, check, no hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was, your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. It's, it's true. You are sure of that? Dorcas. Her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally give jesus a big Hallelujah. big hand big hand big hand of praise hallelujah now all of you that are standing for any see if you are standing for anybody when you go back send the person a text and say i just stood in for you now believe and receive are you hearing me send them a text don't let them roam around you are here suffering to stand in for them they are not connecting again Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. 
some of you the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my God children the Bible says are a heritage from the Lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidence is that Jesus is alive right now I pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text that they have been prayed for. And let me tell you, see, listen, hold on, hold on. There are some who take in but lose the child. Is that true? Lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in. They take in one month, two months, they just wake up in the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you Pastor Jakes, Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God. And then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly. For some of you, especially God will touch you. Hmm. God's going to be touching some of you, especially what you've desired from Him. Specifically, so some of you, God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life. An unusual kind of anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pointing it upon your head. Parido fine jangro stiki vantahi, lingro su pratika tarebo ste randa kai. 
one of you the anointing will be so heavy on your leg heavy heavy they will literally have to carry you out of this place <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place blessing blessings god is blessing some people thank you holy ghost blessings god is blessing you Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let a reward come upon you. Let a reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas I think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know there might be more than one um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you're done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically spiritually let me clear this it's possible for God to do an impactation for you it's possible for God to do an impactation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus name go in the name of Jesus go thank you father I thank you in the name of Jesus you are free in the name of Jesus you are delivered in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you father I declare freedom freedom in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you Jesus he will minister to you who dropped this picture 
What happened to the baby? Is dead? The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as you are lifting up your hands, make sure that you are making a commitment. No sex before marriage. Don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No, all this nonsense that people do. No. Don't, don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about. Stop it this night. Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus. And I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke, because there are some of you, it's not just you, all the ladies in your house, some you notice that you marry almost at age 40. No matter what you do, no matter how decent you are, you will never just get a faithful man. Some of you, is married men that keep chasing you. As young as you are, you can't get a godly brother. You are coming to church. You are serving in church. The brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker. And then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age. 
we will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues <laughs> Rapata shadoli brate kala baluch tava ke sibro ni kada kada baka tasha tava rubi dani sumi na kaya na daba sata lava eka suka binis eka le abito shita va rubi na na zibra kapa tasha lava yesa ni monos kupa kaya sapa in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah, Father of all spirits, the great I am, Maida Subitro Lays in Amakata Sata, Liza Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebaba, the one that released manna. Paul release manna from heaven, Jehovah, in the name of your son Jesus Christ. I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request. Miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation, far above, far above what they have written, far above, far above connection, completion perfections in the name of Jesus completions perfections in the name of Jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation Jehovah Jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry mysteriously prosperous by the hand of God I believe in prosperity are you hearing what I'm saying I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty you cannot help the poor by being one of them are you hearing me and I want to pray for you please believe lift your hands see listen the irrefutable laws 
of prosperity remains tithing, kingdom investments, and your givings. They open the heaven and position you. And then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom, the blessings of God upon your hands, strength and long life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage everybody. Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing, just keep your seat, please. This is not some. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. No, no make some of you god is speaking to you right now some of you need to stand for your families honestly honestly see if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed it means we are fake something is wrong are you hearing me i tell you this this prosperity oil there is an oil it will come upon some of you in a fearful way please inside and outside i beg you if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, Oh God, Oh God attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the bible says the glory the shekinah of god came and filled that room. i'm praying i'm praying see i tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want you the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety we don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. The oil of prosperity. The power to get wealth. At the count of three. My God, let it fall mightily. Right now. One, two, three. Take it. 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 I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. 
we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12 He said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God, you know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction, I speak to your seed. Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call breakthroughs there are families that need major breakthroughs are you hearing me there are some of you your the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that god gave your own family embarrassment after embarrassment every time they start a building project rain will wash it or something satanic will happen breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cause, I'm telling you. There are some people, they are, they are lecturers, but they are still begging for money to feed. This is, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kodi State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across Abu. Are you hearing me? Altars of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth is for taking charge is a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here 
and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer i want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next i pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to goshen and egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people already died and he passed by i pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when i see the blood rapato coparatata not by accident not by terrorism in the name of the lord jesus i command supernatural preservation receive it now supernatural preservation receive it now every lecturer in apu and in all the institutions in this town because i already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the lord is ministering to me and i'm seeing that between now and december 4 i see four other professors going but we stop it we change it in the name of jesus we stop it we change it we stop it we change it we stop it He said the heaven of heavens the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord but the earth has he given now let me pray for you 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 have no covenant with death we are entering the ember months now hallelujah please see take seriously the things that happen here are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak us that the blood of Jesus speak get better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my Duguri Joss Bauchi come out of her now out out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence I declare that throughout this year I have no covenant 
with the spirit of death. Say, death, hear my voice. I am an ambassador. And in the name of Jesus, the seal of the blood is upon me. I am protected. My family members are protected. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in. Say in my going out and in my coming in. Therefore, I pray for you that as you have declared, let your eyes live to see the experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've not given your heart to Jesus. Please remain standing. Everyone here. Please remain standing. Hallelujah. You have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a family. This is where... We are ready to introduce you to the love of your life. The Bible says whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Many of us have been struggling. You've been struggling. Some of you are born again. You've given your heart to the Lord truly. But there are encumbrances pushing you away from God. Right now, please everybody stand. I know you've been standing. Please stand for one last time. Inside and outside, let's honor God. And let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen. Young and old, rich or poor, as you hear my voice, the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you and he's going to tell you it is time. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing. I don't care what you have done. There is a home for you tonight. As everybody begins to appreciate them, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Everybody, come out from outside. God bless you. Outside, sister, brother, don't sit back. People are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't sit back. Don't wait for somebody to come. Please keep clapping, Koinonia. No devil will stop you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. They are coming. Please appreciate them. Don't sit back. There are a lot of you outside. God is speaking to you. Brothers, God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. Shake it, take it, take it. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.